As far as Shazam is concerned, when I hear the name Jeff Johns, I think of the Alex Kurtzman of comics, a guy who doesn't get it and doesn't care. DC managed to kill the original Captain Marvel four times now. First when they sued Fawcett and won. Next when they let him fade away in the 70s. The new beginning in the 80s died on the vine and now the DC champion and corporate god of comics there killed him again just so he could Frankenstein-style cannibalize the character into something he could deal with. Calls this monstrosity of his own making Shazam. When I first saw Justice League War, I was half ecstatic to see my old childhood superhero Captain Marvel, even if he was off it a few times, but really gutted to hear him refer to himself as the wizard's name. Another hit to the solo plexus came in the credits. Superman created by, Batman created by... When Shazam came, there were no credits. The selfish prick couldn't even have the decency to say based on a character created by C.C. Beck and Bill Parker. I got to read his new Shazam comics, too. Talk about a total castration of Captain Marvel. Holy moly. If there's any way a producer or producers could ruin something, it's dress your own personal character or characters in other people's identities. Ask Paramount and CBS with their Star Trek debacles. Ask Disney about their Star Wars failures as well. Jeff Johns is the same kind of self-absorbed shipbag when it comes to the untimely death of Captain Marvel. What's worse with this crap revamp ripoff of the world's mightiest mortal, we rob the DC and general comic world of one of the first and most popular female superheroines, Mary Marvel. She was bigger than Wonder Woman and didn't need BDSM to do it either. She was the real deal. Supergirl was based on her for heaven's sakes. And now what do we call her? Mary Shazam? It's because Mr. Jeff John says it's Shazam now, so she's Mary Shazam. It's going to have to be that way. Mary Marvel's gone. Who cares? It's a new 52 and nothing else matters. Mary Marvel is dead, just like Captain Marvel and the entire Marvel family. Dead as a can of Spam. While the Big Red Cheese lives forever in my heart, like he has done since the 70s with the Saturday morning live-action series, I've had a hard time over the past couple of years coming to terms with his death. We have a new feature film out in a few days, and I plan to be there, but I still can't shake it that I'm not seeing my hero of old, but a sidetracked departure sloppy ripoff so Johns could rub himself in money and take all the credit. I'm sure the new film will be a good one if you've got a good script. If you've got a good director, you've got a good cast. We've got that, and I think it's going to work. The reviews are very hot right now. It would be nice, though, before I shuffle off this old rock, if uh, one day they made an actual Captain Marvel film again. Until then, I guess I'll take the scraps from John's half-empty head. That's all the kids need today anyway, isn't it? We'll see. We're going to go see the movie, and uh, I'll be back. Captain Marvel is dead. Long live Captain Marvel.